Hello people, this is George with yet another Call of Dragons video and today uh, I'm going to speak regarding update and future two legendary mage heroes which we already know for sure. So first of all, let's speak regarding new update which I think is game changing uh, and I think this uh, new update will uh, help this game in the future and make it more and more popular. Um, so let's dig, in, dig inside and let's see what kind of update we are getting from Call of Dragons developers team. So basically, the initial servers, whenever you are creating your account uh, and whenever like first season is over, uh, for now it was like you are changing the servers, you are changing the kingdoms. If you want to migrate, you can migrate to a new uh, server with a new people. So uh, every time whenever there was a season and you had the community with your alliance members and in general with the server itself, uh, it was getting lost. Uh, only the people who were migrating with yourself in a like basic any server, like for example 92, uh, only the people who migrated to 92 were able to continue communication. So like I have been playing this game already for seven months. Uh, I have ch I have not changed alliance uh, even once in the game, but uh, I'm in a four different Discord server or four different alliances simply because. Whenever new season was beginning, uh, some alliances were getting together, some alliances were changing, some people were staying in the current server, some people wanted to have more wars and they were changing to a server where there would be more wars and fun. So you were losing some people simply because you like season was over and new season was starting. So right now it got changed. You can anytime whenever season is will be over, you can choose your initial server where you started, where maybe you left some of your friends, or maybe you have some some your community you want to play with, uh, to kill some behemoths, to enjoy the content of the game. Now from uh, the like from this update, we will be able to choose our initial server server uh, and like lords can choose the return to the initial server in any season for lords who have already been through this season we will add the server located in tamaris as an initial server so basically we will be able to get back to our uh, first server where, where we everybody started the game and if we wish we can continue playing there uh, after the season uh, one ends uh, season registration and matchmaking will be based on the initial server so, like, the root of the every everything in the game will be um, based on the initial server. Um, I don't know how good it will be. Uh, at, at first, I need to check it. We, we, need, we need to check it uh, by, by ourselves. But everything here looks pretty good. Now, what I like also is that Alliance will be affiliated with the initial server and it and will no longer disband at the end of the server. Disbanding of Alliance was one of the worst uh, like uh, features of the game in my opinion. Uh, like it's already enough uh, that whenever you are starting a new season, it's enough that you need to uh, do all the stuff again and again, like a lot of uh, actions, like gathering uh, experience to your heroes, uh, war situations, and also you are losing your Alliance members uh, and it was pretty chaotic. From now on, uh, the alliances won't be disbanded, and it's an amazing feature which is going to be uh, helping the game in the long term. Also, a cross-server migration feature will be added, allowing you to choose an initial server that better suits you. So basically, they are giving the power to players to choose how they want to play, uh, which I 100% agree. Uh, this game is all about community and all about uh, you choosing your com community with whom you enjoy playing with. The people uh, whom you are uh, having wars with, uh, people who you are uh, fighting against behemoths. And in general, uh, this game without communities won't gonna last long. And this change is life-changing in my opinion. And it will help uh, this game to be successful in a long run. Uh, as I understand, in general, Call of Dragons just got started. They are listening to the uh, feedback of the players. And basically, I love this um, 
update. It is one of the best updates which I have seen from the Call of Dragons team. The last one was also pretty good, but this will change the whole dynamic of the game. It will change the like whole community section. It will change alliances. So like it means that every action in the game, whenever there is a lot of people, this update will be will change their their lives in the game. So like if we will conclude. Uh, we will be able to return to uh, return to our initial servers where we started. Uh, if we don't want to return there, we can uh, like migrate to any other server, whichever we want. But every any time we will be able to uh, get back to our home. Basically, uh, whenever new season starts, uh, they won't be uh, disbanded alliances. We will be entering to the new season with our alliance also amazing uh, update so this is like what i wanted to share uh, i wanted to share my opinion regarding this change uh, and i hope you guys understand how important this change is to the game i think uh, just simply because of this change people will get back to call of dragons uh, new players will stay uh, and the players who have experience playing like kingdom builders games uh, such as Rise of Kingdoms, will be uh, more than happy to uh, see this kind of change in the same type of game. Also, another update which uh, we got uh, on the Discord server uh, was uh, from the uh, Call of Dragons developers team. Uh, it's all about uh, two new legendary heroes which are coming to game. The last legendary heroes we are getting this season. Uh, one is Tohar and second is Bertrand. Bertrand, yeah, now both of them will be major legendary heroes, uh, it's already confirmed, and now we can see the visuals, uh, what we know about these two characters is that Tohar is, I think, uh, it's uh, it's a shaman, so it's pretty close that uh, Tohar will be Wilderberg, and I think Bertrand will be League of Orders, and Bertrand, like, is summoning some dragon, as I can see in this uh, uh, picture, or lizard, and Tohar is a shaman, I guess both of them has skills, maybe this lizard is Tohar's lizard, I don't know, but one of them is shaman for sure, and my guess will be Tohar as a shaman. Uh, other than that, we don't know anything uh, regarding this, these heroes, uh, we don't know exact time when they will add these heroes to the game, but we needed the legendary mage heroes, because simply we only have Lilia for a uh, pay to win players, and uh, Alwyn, uh, uh, Velin as a legendary hero uh, for everybody in the game. We were lacking some uh, mage legendary heroes, and I'm pretty happy that they are bringing the mages. Um, I think next will be some flying hero, uh, or we're gonna go to the circle, and next will be marksmen, uh, then cavalry, infantry, and mages. But for now, let's enjoy the new content from the game. It's all, always fun whenever they are adding some stuff uh, in the game. Um, I like the looks of the new characters. I like the art style. Uh, so what you guys think? Um, tell me your opinion regarding uh, new heroes and in general uh, about update in the comment section. I hope uh, you are liking the content I'm uh, making or I'm trying to make. Uh, and yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, bye bye. See you very soon.